All right, guys. Hey, welcome to Podkins episode 53. Woo! It's the 2015 Webkins trivia Yay! episode. Going down. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Yeah, it's our last episode of the year, but it's also one of our most anticipated episodes because, as I mentioned a few podcasts ago, we're having a special quiz. It's going to be Steven versus Sally versus Mandy, and I have all three of them in studio today. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi, everybody. So I just wanted to go and ask each of you a question related to this past year because this episode is all about 2015 and what happened. Steve, you have done these great unboxing videos throughout the year, so I wanted to know what is your favorite pet that we released this past year in 2015? I'd say for me, it's a kind of a toss-up between the 10-year Magic W pup just because it was oh, a, yeah. a real milestone pup, and I know a lot of people enjoyed collecting it and really nice design on it. Really commemorates the past year, absolutely, in our 10th year anniversary. Yeah, and if I had like a close second, I would say the uh, Morky pup because it was a, a really like high quality dog that kind of was very reminiscent of the the signature line. Yeah, it uh, looked it, really it, realistic. Yeah. yeah, and you know what? It's amazing that we've been making plush for 10 years and the plush department never runs out of ideas and they keep on getting better and better. So that's uh, that's awesome. So Sally is with me in studio today too. Hey, Sally. Hello. Now, Sally, so much has gone on this past year. So many different events from our collection of events from uh, our holiday events did you have a favorite event that we had this year this year has been crazy year 10 has been jam-packed whether it's totally. the 365 days of prizes on webkins news some of the giveaways we've done on facebook but i think what um, and our special 10 days for uh celebration for the webkins anniversary we've never done that before yeah and i i think you know maybe it's because it's still christmas but i think we went all out for christmas this year and it's just <laughs> fantastic there are so many different ways of winning prizes this year and i don't know how we're going to top it next yeah, year. so Christmas, you'd say, I always love Christmas as well, especially Christmas in Webkin's world. So Mandy, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Cool. Now we've had, again, on Webkin's News and on Webkin's so many different promotions and contests and giveaways. Did you have a favorite one that uh, we had this year? I did have one. Now, in the summer, we all remember the story of Cecil the Lion. Right. Um, and what we did was we created a Lion 2 pack, which was the Cecil and Jericho pack, and $2 from the sale of each each pack of two lions went to a conservation fund. And that was such a great success that we set up a regular promotion. So there are two for one pets and two dollars from every sale goes to the International Fund for Animal Welfare. And I'm really excited and really proud that we've been able to create this ongoing promotion that will help raise money for conservation. Absolutely. Yeah, and and uh, the newer ones are now giving a virtual item and some points as well. Nice. So we've even improved the... Uh, deal and and yeah it's the value the value that's great Exactly. And and yeah, I'm just really, really proud of that and pleased that we're able to do that. Absolutely. Well, I'm trying to think of my favorite moment of 2015. And there's so many, but I definitely think that when we gave away that decade dragon to everybody for free, that was definitely something that we hadn't really done before. And uh, it was actually designed by a fan. Of course, we had a contest that we asked players to design a special pet for our 10th year anniversary. And we picked the decade dragon and gave it out to everybody. So that was pretty neat. That was actually, it's hard to believe that was all the way back in April. But anyway, I just want to get right to it. I said this is the most anticipated episode of 2015 because it's a special trivia and I hope that everybody listening to this is going to play along at home and try to see how many questions you can answer right. There's 18 in total. I'm going to ask each one and the player that answers the most wins. And I hope that you leave your comments below and let us know how many questions you got right and see if you can beat Steve, Sally and Mandy. I asked you guys to submit some questions to me, and I had a lot of people emailing me with some great questions. First of all, we should just make sure that everybody's buzzers are working. Mandy, can you test your buzzer to make sure it's working? Uh. Sally, you test your buzzer? That's Sally's buzzer. And Steve, why don't you test yours? There we go. So we are ready to go. So here we go with our first question. This was emailed to me by Kinzer388. And the question is, what month did Daisy open her diner? This is a tough one. Any guesses? Steve buzzes in. I'm just going to take a wild guess and say April. April? No, it wasn't uh, April. Mandy's the next one to buzz in. I'm going to guess January. That's a great guess, Mandy. January is the answer. It actually... Yay! Yeah. 
The actual date was January 21st. And of course, the diner is still in the clubhouse and you can go visit Daisy in the diner and click on her to get a free piece of food every single day. All right. So Mandy is in the lead one to nothing. This next question actually was also sent in by Kinzer388. And here it is. Daisy offers a lot of food at her diner. Can you name any two food items that you can collect from Daisy's diner? There's a whole bunch. I know it's all uh, vegetarian, all tasty foods. It's tough. I was gonna say the veggie wrap. That uh, I think is a combination food of uh, a bunch of the Daisy Diner foods. How about this? You don't need to name the exact name of it, but can I know you there's name something with kale dishes? in it. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> can you be a little bit more specific? There's a kale salad. Kale chips. Okay, it was actually kale chips. Good, Mandy. Can you come up with one more? Carrot cake. Okay. So nobody that's wait, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Nobody I'm, buzzed I'm in for that one. Oh. Uh, cheating, Sally's cheating. To okay. Cheat. No phones no allowed. Google. Nobody got that one. That's okay. But the actual here, I'm gonna read them very quickly. They sound really tasty actually. There's crunchy kale chips, strawberry spinach salad, fresh pasta salad, organic apple juice, organic omelet, sweet potato pizza, tofu tacos, grilled eggplant entree, tofu burger, fuzzy frozen peach yogurt, honeycomb sorbet, and avocado ice cream. I know that some people out there listening got that one right. So there's players out there, I think, who may be two for two. Okay, so we're going to go to question number three. This was sent in by WizKiz747. The question is, what was the grand prize for catching the leprechaun in the clubhouse? This was a a leprechaun event where you had to catch the leprechaun. If you got all the jelly coins, you'd win a prize. You don't have to name the exact item, but just tell me what type of item it was. Any guesses? Don't forget to buzz in. Mandy? Was it a pot of gold? We have done pots of gold in the past, but this year, no, it wasn't a pot of gold. I will give you a hint. Hands on the buzzers. It's a type of window. Oh, okay. Yeah, the stained glass window for uh, leprechaun stained glass window. That's right, Stephen. Stained glass window. Stephen gets it. So Stephen and Mandy are tied. These are tough questions. Okay, here's the next one by WizKiz747. And I'm going to modify this one a little bit based on how this is going so far. So there are six different colors of jelly coins that you can collect from the leprechaun in the clubhouse for St. Patrick's Day. Name two of the six colors of coins. <laughs> Sally buzzes in. The red and orange. Red and orange is correct. Very good. Sally's on the board, too. So it's a close game. We are all tied at one. The actual original question was name all six, but I had to, <laughs> I had to modify that a little bit. Well, that's okay. Uh, blue, uh, yellow, green. green, and there's yellow. That's right. And purple was the only one that you were missing. But yeah, very good. On to question five. This one was sent in by our friend Meg Webkins. And she asked, we gave away the Decade Dragon as a special gift for our 10th year anniversary. What is the PSI of the Decade Dragon? Steven buzzes in. The uh, throne. The uh... I'll give you the throne, definitely. It's a clever uh, play on words. It's the Milestone Throne. The uh, Milestone yes. Throne. The Milestone Throne. The PSF, the pet-specific item of the dragon, was the Decadent Cupcake. Okay? So here we go. Steven got a point for that. Steven's actually in the lead. Woo! With two points, Sally's got one and Mandy's got one. We're going to continue now. This one was also sent in by Meg Webkins. And this is a good question. Because Steve does all these unboxing videos, he might have an advantage here. This is the question. Which of the following Webkins pets was not released in 2015? Was it the Fiesta Unicorn, the Plum Porcupine, Pink Dice Penguin, or the Maltese Puppy? Uh, uh, Mandy buzzes in quick there. I think it was the Penguin. The Pink Ice Penguin? You are correct! Yeah! Yeah, the Pink Ice Penguin, that's tough to say, was not released this year. So you get a point, Mandy. I think it should be note for everybody at home that I literally buzzed in like a fraction of <laughs> After Mandy, I did know the answer to that one. Absolutely. That's okay, I didn't know. <laughs> that's okay, Sally. That's why you are trailing by one point. No, but there's, there, that's okay because there's still lots of time to catch up because this is our seventh question. This was sent in by Maggie Webkins. What was the grand prize for completing the flower collection in May? This one's a tough one. What was the grand prize for completing the flower collection in May? Steve. I'm just going to take a wild guess and say some sort of greenhouse. That is incorrect. We have actually done that in the past, but this was, I'll, I'll give you a hint. They were five pieces that you could use to create a patio set, an outdoor patio set. Mandy? 
Was it the big um, outdoor fireplace? That is correct. Oh. These are tough questions. I'm going to have to admit I created this one. I came up with this one. The question is, we released three new room themes this past year. Can you name the three room themes that we released? There were three of them. Kind of a tricky question. Well, we had the, uh, the year 10, Webkin's year 10. Yes. That, was, that was the tricky one because that one actually was only available for the 10 days that uh, we celebrated the our anniversary. Freaky Forest and the uh, new Christmas? No, it wasn't Christmas. Close. It, it, we did it during the summer. I helped out Mandy last time. So it kind of was a teenager theme bedroom that oh, we had never done. 16, there you go. Right. Yeah, you did. So I had to help him out there because the Webkin's 10 room theme. I didn't think anybody was going to remember that we did that one, but. Good job, Stephen. Stephen just regained his tie for the lead yes. with Mandy. They both have three <laughs> points. And uh, Sally has the one. No. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, still time to catch up. Here we go. A new arcade game was released in Webkins this fall. Can you name what it was? Ah. Mandy, quick on the buzzer. Ms. Caroline's roll call. That is correct, Woo-hoo. Mandy. You get another point. I think you should check my buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's not ringing through very well. I think I think Mandy disconnected my buzzer. We're going to continue our next question. Okay, now this one was sent in by Emily. Hands on your buzzers. This is going to be a quick response. What section of the W Shop is only available on the Webkins mobile app? Mandy, again. The mobile zone. That's right, mobile zone. Only available on the Webkins mobile app, and you'll find some pretty cool stuff in there that you can't get anywhere else. It's all about being quick on the buzzer right now. But here we go. Mandy pulls into the lead now with her answer. Here's the next question, also sent in by Emily. Who helped Dr. Quack find a cure to stop pets from getting sick in Webkin's world? Steven. Goober. That's right. Goober did. Goober was uh, helping Dr. Quack, of course. There's a big explosion, and that helped cure the sickness in Kinsville. Mandy in first place, Steven second, Sally in third. Here we go. Continuing on. This one was sent in by Snow and Lindsay. What month did Dr. Quack officially retire? Mandy? May? May is incorrect. Steven? April. April is incorrect. Sally, do you want to take a guess? March. March is correct. Woo-hoo! Yeah, the actual date was March 25th. But there you go. Way to go, Sally. You get another so point. close. <laughs> Very close. Now, this question was sent in by KBK100. And this question is, how many Webkin's Room Design Awards were held this year? How many Room Design Awards were held this year? Steven? One. One is incorrect. <sighs> Any other guesses? Uh, Mandy? Two. There you go. (laughs) That's right. We held one in uh, May and one in November. And uh, we plan on holding more in the new year. So keep those room screenshots coming in. You can send them to me at letsbuildatgans.com. I hope the other contestants here appreciate the fact that I'm getting them close to the answer. (laughs) Just so that they can walk in and take it from me. You guys are all doing very well. Except for me. I didn't say anything, Sally. No. (laughs) I hope everybody at home um, is doing well, and I really hope that you're doing a lot better than Sally. Okay, here we go. No, I'm just joking. Everybody's doing well. Here we go. Next question. This one, I came up with this one. So, Mr. Moo offers six flavors of ice cream in the Kinsville Park. Can you name two of them? Mango and shrimp, peaches and shrimp one. And uh, it's a minty something or other. Swirl. Really strange, strange flavor. Those are good guesses. Anybody else want to have a guess? Okay, it was a tough one. I can't give that one to you, Steve. Okay, so I'll tell you the six flavors. There's candy cream, there's chili chocolate, there's a melty mango, perfect pear, sour shrimp, and spicy squashes. Close. That was a good trial. This next one, question 15, was sent in by Popcorn Party 6, and they ask... The acorn collection ran from September 1st to 30th. How many acorns did you need to win the grand prize? Steven? 50. That's right. 50 acorns is correct. And the grand prize actually for completing your acorn collection this year was the oak tree bed. So Steven gets another point, trailing one behind Mandy. Very close. Here we go. There's only three questions left. I can still do it. (laughs) There's only three questions left. Steven has five. Sally has two. Amanda, you have six. So here we go. This one was sent in by Jessica. 
You can visit Santa Kins in the clubhouse from December 1st to 24th and tell them what you want for Christmas. Name two of the three gifts that were available this year. So there's three types of gifts. How about I won't, you don't have to name them exactly, Sally? So the snowman clock and the toy drums? Exit. Perfect. Yep, toy drum, snowman clock, and there was also the Santakins plushie. So way to go, Sally. You got them right on, and you're saving yourself from complete embarrassment here. No, I'm just joking. I'm just Partial joking. There. That was your third one. No, it's great. Here we go. Two more questions. I hope everybody, again, is doing well. So this one was sent in by David Kins, and he asks... What item of clothing came inside the 2015 Halloween treat bag? So there was a clothing piece, and I think there was two candies as well. But we're looking for the type of clothing. Uh, Mandy? Well, wasn't it like a, a robe, like a royal robe with jewels on it? A jeweled... Um, no, don't know quite what you're thinking of oh. there, but that's okay. No. Okay, I'll give you a hint. Anyway, this isn't too much of a hint because we usually do this. It, it is a type of hat, something that your pet can wear on their head. Any guesses? That's okay. Okay, no, the answer was the batty bat hat. So it was actually oh. a little hood that looked like right, the top of the okay. bat and it had bat ears. Really cute. Um, and actually the two other items that were available in the treat bag were the candy cat cookie and the candy corn marshmallows. So here we go. I hope you guys have had fun playing the quiz because here is the last question. Actually, if Steven gets this, there's going to be a tie, and I'm going to have to come up with a tiebreaker question because uh, Mandy is in the lead, Steven is trailing by one, and Sally is in third. Here we go. This was also sent in by David Kins. Hands on your buzzer. What kind of cake pop came in this year's Thanksgiving basket? Steven. Pilgrim cake pop. That is incorrect. Close. Any uh, guesses, Mandy? Cranberry cake pop. Cranberry, no. Sally? Turkey. Turkey is correct. <laughs> Oh, there you my, go. That was my first answer, and I balked at it just as I was going to say it. Such a close race, Mandy. You came in first. Yay! Sally, you finished a close <laughs> second. Or sorry, Stephen came in a close second, and Sally, you are in a close third. Thank you guys so much for playing, and thank you everybody at home for listening. I hope you enjoyed um, the year 2015. I'm looking forward to 2016. Mm -hmm. There's going to be so much stuff happening on webkins.com. As always, we've already been planning a whole bunch of events for you guys. So I hope to see you next year. Happy New Year. Happy see you guys. New year. All right, Bye. we'll see you in the new year. Bye.